This is a very interesting problem with a the Adams Family pinball machine. When the grave A target switch is actuated, not only does that register, but two additional switch inputs do register as well. One being column 1, row 2, which incidentally is an input not in use, and the other being column 5, row 6, the normally closed bookcase number 4, up toe. Let me explain what happens and show you how to troubleshoot and fix similar problems. When using the term switch close and switch open, I refer to the electrical sense. So, for optos in the Williams WPC system, meaning these being not interrupted and appearing as a square in the test. Let's take the not used one first. This is a good old three switches closing, making it appear as the fourth one is closed as well. The problem arises when a diode on a switch is either shorting or bypassed. Bypassed by a short in or around the switch, or because the switch is wired incorrectly. In this case, it is the grave A switch, where I have bypassed the diode on purpose for demonstration. When column 1 is strobed, and with its row 6 switch, center trough, being closed, row 6 becomes active. The grave A switch is sitting on that row on column 8. When grave A is closed, and with its diode bypassed, it will make column 8 active. This is the core of the problem. However, it will not show as a column 8 related issue directly. What happens is that the bookcase closed switch, also sitting on column 8, when closed, will make row 2 active. And as column 1 is the current strobe column, this is interpreted by the game as the not used switch input being active. On column 8, the thing up up to switch on row 5 is also closed, but as the column 1 row 5 switch left trough is active, as the ball trough is loaded, this will not ghost trigger, not in this particular mechanical state of the game. However, in a gameplay situation this could, in theory at least, cause a premature end of ball. The way to troubleshoot similar ghost switch hit problems is the following. You start off on the column of the switch that is incorrectly registering. Then look for other switches closed on that column. Then look for other switches closed on the row of the ghost switch. And then your suspects are the switches in the crossfire of these. The switch with the bad diode situation is always the diagonal one from the ghost. But the switch appearing to trigger the ghost may be either one of the three. The issue with the opto switch that is registered as open when the grave A switch is closed is the result of an arm wrestling between the comparator in the opto circuitry and the pull-up resistor of the column 8 drive stage. With the diode bypassed, the comparator is exposed to more than twice the load and is unable to drive the voltage below the threshold of the input stage. In time, at least. Switch matrix stroke pulses are very, very narrow. The funniest one, in the diabolical sense of the word, of the ghost switches I ever fixed was on a Circus Voltaire game. It was slam tilting during play. The people calling for my assistance were saying, we have tried everything, but cannot replicate the slam tilt fault. Please help. On this game, I found the Mexican standoff to be the ringmaster mech to be in the top position, and the target behind the menagerie ball, and coin door closed. Now, this is double the trouble. During testing and troubleshooting, you are likely to have the coin door open and thus will never replicate the problem. And during play, when is this most likely to happen? During a ringmaster multiball, with the ball unintentionally hitting the target. With balls flying around in a multiball, who will make out exactly what caused the slam tilt? This was a manufacturing mistake made when the game was built in 1997, and fixed a few years ago. In this time, imagine how many people were kicking and shouting over this game when it was operated on location. And later, how many people got DQ'd over this, to no fault of their own, when the game was used for competition. Which reminds me of the golden advice, 
to disconnect slam tilt switches on games used in competition. Slam tilt is irrelevant in competition. And to TDs, responsible for a competition, it is a bless to be able to call any slam tilt a malfunction of the game. A lot of times, it is not the player, but the game. <laughs>